crazy, cheesy, and finger licking good. If you love sending your food into a sauce jacuzzi before each bite, then these are the sauces you absolutely have to try. You're likely familiar with most of the sauces McDonald's offers, like barbecue, honey mustard, and sweet and sour. However, if you're looking to add a little bit of heat to every bite, you should check out the spicy buffalo sauce. If you're someone who likes to wake your palate up a bit, then adding something with even a little bit of heat is a great move. That's why you'd be making a huge mistake not ordering this sauce with your meal. The three ingredients in this sauce that join forces to hit your palate where it counts are cayenne pepper, vinegar, and butter flavoring. The cayenne pepper lends some heat that isn't too intense, but still satisfies anyone who craves a bit of a burn, and the vinegar has a nice bite that helps offset the richness of the butter flavor. Treat your taste buds right the next time you're at the Golden Arches and snag some of the sauce. Anytime the word Diablo creeps its way into the name of anything edible, you know exactly the kind of experience your mouth is about to have. The word implies that after you ingest the food, your mouth immediately erupts into flames. Fans of Taco Bell who can handle the heat should grab themselves a handful of Taco Bell's Diablo sauce to slather their meal in. If you've never had Diablo sauce before, or if you're someone who's hesitant to try spicy foods because of the negative after effects, you can rest easy knowing this sauce isn't going to ruin your day. As far as Scoville heat units are concerned, Diablo sauce rates at about 350,000. While that sounds like an absolute nightmare of an experience, the truth is that the chili peppers in the sauce do strike the palate with heat, but not overwhelmingly so. It's still a tasty sauce with a zing that brings great flavor to whatever Taco Bell item you're enjoying. People who live their lives sampling one tasty condiment after the next know you can't horse around with subpar sauces. That's why when you're planning on making an Arby's run to satisfy your craving, don't pick other sauces when you can head straight for the horsey sauce. Arby's is known for its roast beef sandwich, an item that few other fast food spots ever include on their menus. If you're going to have a unique protein like that on the menu, then you better have a unique sauce to pair with it. The pizzazz in the sauce comes directly from the hefty amount of horseradish in it. Horseradish lends a huge zesty tang that does a great job of cutting through the meat's richness, and Arby's roast beef sandwiches aren't the same without it. And if you love the sauce so much you want to bring a bucket of it home, you can actually make it at home with ease using mayonnaise, creamed horseradish, sugar, and a pinch of salt. One of the best parts of a Thanksgiving dinner is when you drench everything on your plate, from the turkey to the mashed potatoes, with a borderline obscene amount of rich gravy. As delicious as it is, gravy is one of those amazing sauces that rarely come into play outside of Turkey Day. However, the Filipino fast food chain Jollibee changes all that. You can snag a side of hot gravy to pour on anything you order, and it is well worth your time. The gravy at Jollibee is served as a dipping sauce for the fried chicken called Chicken Joy. The silky texture plays perfectly against the crispiness of the chicken, soaking into the golden batter to create a moist but still slightly crunchy bite. In fact, the gravy is so delicious, people are figuring out how to make this stuff at home. So long as you have access to unsalted butter, flour, chicken stock, whole milk, soy sauce, salt, and pepper, you can bask in the glory of Jollibee every day without ever having to step foot in the place. If God were edible, not that I'm Catholic, but if it was cool to eat God, he'd be a chicken finger. Mm -hmm. One fast food spot that's known for chicken tenders and the sauce that comes with them is Raising Cane's. Raising Cane's knows that a dry tender is an unhappy one, and that's why it concocted Raising Cane sauce. This sauce has a lot going on in it, which is the reason why so many people find it nearly impossible to resist. Copycat recreations of the sauce use a whole slew of great ingredients like mayonnaise, ketchup, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, and liquid smoke to create a dipping nirvana. It hits your mouth with a barrage of smoky, tangy, and sweet flavors with a wonderfully creamy texture. A food reporter from Insider visited Raising Cane's for the first time and wrote about the experience. She raved about the sauce, writing, The cane sauce had a slight kick to it, was super creamy, and surprisingly tangy. It paired perfectly with the chicken and was unlike any other sauce I've ever tried. Any cheese enthusiast knows that hot gooey queso just has that special leg up on the firm stuff. Anyone looking to score themselves a dippable cheese would find themselves beaming with joy at Culver's. Culver's offers customers a Wisconsin cheddar cheese sauce for those of us that have a craving for gooey queso at all hours of the day. The blend of Wisconsin sharp cheddar and fresh dairy make for the perfect accompaniment for several of the chain's menu items. Pour extra cheese onto an order of chili fries and you have something totally irresistible. And an order of the pretzel bites just wouldn't be the same without some melted cheese on hand. 
or drizzle a hefty amount of that cheddary nectar over a butter burger or pot roast sandwich for an additional layer of tangy richness that you never even realized you've been missing for so long. Fans of KFC likely got their hands on the restaurant's classic finger-licking good sauce and slathered it all over a fresh batch of crispy tenders. But just like everything in life, all good things must come to an end. And that was what happened at the chain. KFC discontinued its iconic sauce and replaced it with a new one, KFC sauce. Sure, the name certainly doesn't have the same ring to it, but this new creation is sweet, tangy, and smoky. These three delicious horsemen of all things sauce are ready to gallop their way onto your palate and leave your taste buds begging for more. Andrea Shemensky, the chief marketing officer at KFC, spoke about the process saying, When we set out to create a new signature dipping sauce, we went right to the experts, our customers, to find out what made a sauce best in class for dipping. We went through 50 iterations, and their response to this recipe was overwhelming. You know what they say, when it comes to perfecting the greatest tasting sauce possible, occasionally the 50th time is the charm. His finger looking good. Mm. Anyone who loves to celebrate game day with a big old tub of buffalo wings knows that a glistening array of fried chicken just wouldn't be the same without a hefty amount of creamy blue cheese for dunking. Chicken wings on their own dance along your palate with ease. But when you add the tangy punch of blue cheese to cut through the richness of the wing, things really become magnificent. Wingstop is a super popular spot to grab buffalo wings, and it's a huge disappointment to arrive home just to realize there's no blue cheese to accompany your chicken. The blue cheese that Wingstop serves is so delicious that there are several copycat recipes all over the internet, so you don't have to plan a trip to your nearest location to get your hands on some. Concocting the dipping sauce is quite simple so long as you have blue cheese, mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Within minutes, your palate is whisked away to Wingstop, and you can now sit back and watch your favorite team with an extra wide smile slapped on your face. Just make sure you make enough, because finding yourself with a few leftover wings undressed is a huge foul. Popeyes is a fast food chain known for its Louisiana cooking, serving fried chicken, biscuits, and mashed potatoes and gravy, to name just a few. And obviously, Popeyes just couldn't serve all that food with an appropriate hot sauce to pair with it, which is why customers can grab themselves the appropriately named Louisiana hot sauce to pour all over their orders. The real wake-up to your palate when it comes to this sauce is the addition of vinegar. The sauce is comprised of three main ingredients, aged hot peppers, vinegar, and salt. Obviously, the hot peppers sound the fire alarm on your tongue, but the vinegar gives everything a zesty kick that reinforces the pepper flavor. The vinegar also is the perfect ingredient to cut through much of the richness that goes hand-in-hand -hand with the heavy, fried stuff Popeye sells. A mouthful of oily butter on its own can become overwhelming quickly. But when that vinegar taste arrives, it mellows everything out for one delicious mouthful of southern goodness. Little Caesars offers more than just a crazy good deal on pizza. You can also order a variety of wings and breadsticks, and those orders come with a choice of dipping sauce. When it comes to wings, most people navigate their appetites towards something creamy, and if you're snagging yourself an order of breadsticks, marinara sauce is a common option. But if you're looking to make the most out of your Little Caesars order, you have to grab some of the crazy sauce. Crazy Sauce is just a tomato-based dip that's jam-packed with spices and herbs to set it far apart from your standard marinara. The spice mixture is comprised of sugar, salt, onion, and garlic. It's not a complicated recipe by any means, but it really kicks the tomato flavor several notches up. The garlic and onion are very pronounced, and long after you take a bite, you can still taste them lingering on your palate in the best way possible. Incorporating the sugar makes for a sweet and salty combo that's almost irresistible. I want to live in the sauce! If you could live in the sauce, don't you think I would live in the sauce? Chick-fil-A, the chicken-centric fast food chain, offers customers a whole bunch of dipping options to pour over their sandwiches and plunge the tenders into. You have your basic stuff like honey mustard, ranch, and barbecue, but the chain also offers Polynesian sauce, which is where your meal takes on an especially unique flavor. The sauce has a deep purple color and delivers sweet flavors with quite a tangy element. The Polynesian sauce is made with sugar, corn syrup, garlic powder, ground mustard, beet juice, and vinegar. The beet juice is what gives the sauce its vibrant color. The sugar and corn syrup pack a super sweet punch. But when the ground mustard, garlic powder, and vinegar are added, the sweetness is prevented from becoming too overwhelming. There are copycat recipes for this sauce all over the internet, and some have their own spin. But the end result is always a delicious sweet and sour sensation that really launches a rich filet of fried chicken off the charts. 
If a golden fried chicken tender makes your stomach somersault with joy, then you need to get yourself to Zaxby's. Zaxby's offers customers a whole bunch of chicken fingers, salads, and sides, and the one thing it certainly knows how to do is to create a slew of condiments to pair with your meal. The sauce selection has its own spot on the menu, so you know Zaxby's doesn't come to play. With 12 different options available, it can be tough to decide on one, but there is one you absolutely need to try, the signature Zax sauce. Zax sauce is basically what many would refer to as fry sauce, meaning it's comprised mostly of ketchup and mayonnaise. Both of these condiments on their own are delicious dunking sauces, so combining them only enhances the enjoyment. Although the actual recipe is a secret, the copycat recipe adds garlic powder, black pepper, white vinegar, and a splash of Worcestershire. The combined ingredients make a dipping sauce you'll never forget. Zach sauce is the condiment your chicken never knew it needed.